we're looking at a sync 4a in a mustang mach e um, this is the one i had about three weeks ago bought it about three weeks ago so um, i have about 2,000 miles on it and i have it set on, on the radio it's showing the radio right now um, i could jump around to i can see the nav here if i want go to the nav screen um, I can reduce the size of the nav screen, so these little cards here will show me more information, give me more tools, or I can expand it to make it a little bit larger. Um, if, if you're using nav, you go back to the radio here, and we're on classic rewind right now. Uh, one thing that's kind of weird is it mixes the satellite channels in with the FM channels or AM if you have them programmed. So you can program pretty much your all your different sources here. Um, which is kind of weird, but kind of interesting. So right now, if, um, it's playing on this one right here. So if I went to the steering wheel controls and and moved the right arrow, then it'll just it'll just toggle through or cycle through to the right channels. So this is a radio channel, and it has a digital. So there's three more frequencies there, so it'll have extra content to cycle through there. You just press this, and it it makes you to the two. Or if you press it again, it takes you to the, the third content. And I presume if you hit it one more time, it'll cycle back. No, it goes to the next channel. Okay, so I'm back to the one. So again, to the two. Or again to the three, which sounds like it's news talk. So that's how you get through on your HD radio channels. If you were on um, the satellite channels... Say for instance, um, I only have, whoops, um, I only have one decade down here, which is the 50s. You kind of see it right there. So if I press the 50s, um, and I want to go to say the, the 70s or 80s or 90s or whatever, a quick way to do it is to touch these channels here, and then you bring up a scrolling wheel, and I can scroll back and forth. So I can scroll through the pop channels, or or the decades here, which are right here. So I can find, say, the 80s, and I can press the 80s. And that saves me, the I don't have to waste a bunch of presets down here. I can just pick one of the decades, and then I can just navigate through. I could basically do that with the rock channels too, like classic, but but these are pretty much, I frequent these channels. But say, I, for instance, I was wanted to browse through rock and roll, I can just put on classic rewind, and then I can just, I can browse through the different rock channels so I can end up on say the Tom Petty radio channel here without having to have it down in the preset. So that's kind of helpful. Um, let's say I'm listening to the radio, say I'm listening to Underground Garage and some song comes on that I like. What I can do is I can hit this bell here and what that'll do is bring up a menu so that I can I can set it to let me know the next time an artist comes on. So I can choose the artist, I can touch that right there and add the artist, or I can just touch the song. Say I like the song. I can say, make you mine, and it shows a little bell next to it, and that means the next time this song is playing, I'm gonna get a notification, and I can switch over to it um, to listen to that song, and then you can manage those. Um, it lets you store, I don't know, 10 or 12 of those. So those are a couple of tricks that you can learn to navigate around um, your sync, and might help you out a little bit. So, hope you find that useful. Thanks.